It is the middle of summer, and what better way a time for a cold dessert, right? Our Hungry Hound is in the midst of a month-long look at some great dessert options, showing us the creamy, the classy, crazy, even some classics. So last week was creamy soft serve, but tonight he goes classy with a pair of elegantly plated desserts in the city. Two great options, in fact, if you're looking for a little treat after a movie, perhaps a show, here's Steve Lelinsky with his sweet Saturday night sampler. Danielle Morelli was always a fan of dreamsicle bars and push-up pops as a kid. And now that she's running the pastry program at the elegant Langham Hotel in River North, she has the freedom to bring those flavors to the plate. Citrus is the star. I love the freshness and the brightness that it brings to a dish. Um, I really wanted to highlight it during citrus season, so I found a way to incorporate blood orange and tangerine and grapefruit throughout this dessert. With that dreamsicle ice cream bar in mind, I kind of came up with this citrus dream bar dessert. She starts with a swoosh of blood orange Aperol gel across the plate, then a three-layer cake, olive oil bass cake on the bottom, buttermilk white chocolate custard in the middle, and blood orange across the top. A crumbly olive oil streusel is scattered around the sides, then pieces of fresh tangerine, blood orange, and grapefruit. A blood orange sherbet is spooned into a perfect, elegant canal, then plated alongside. We have an ice cream maker here at the hotel that allows us to um, get that really creamy texture. And it's not really an ice cream, and it's not a sorbet. It's kind of a marriage of the both. A downtown is one thing, but if you're in Old Town going to Second City, or you're here in Lincoln Park, or you see a show at the Royal George, or even the Steppenwolf, good option for dessert post-theater, Boca. The Lincoln Park restaurant is known more for fine dining and tasting menus, but pastry chef Meg Gallus always has a few craveable desserts. Right now it's the tail end of strawberry season, but this mini masterpiece features strawberries five different ways, including fresh, tossed in strawberry vinegar, semi-dehydrated for chewiness, compressed in rose syrup, and as a sorbet. Small pieces of almond cake are embedded within, as is a black strawberry cremeau or pudding. Sesame and, and strawberry is kind of a, I think it's kind of a trendy flavor profile now. I'm kind of seeing it around a lot, but for me, it sort of evokes that kind of nostalgic peanut butter and jelly idea. It's not easy to make. Roasted black sesame paste is combined with cream. It's whisked while heated. Separately, sugar and egg yolks are combined. She slowly adds just a bit of the black sesame mixture to temper the yolks. You can't add it too quickly or you'll get scrambled eggs. Everything is then heated together and blended well passed through a fine mesh strainer. It's chilled and then piped into the bottom of the bowl where it hides until a spoon is dispatched, plunged beneath the strawberry and streusel above. A less seasonally dependent creation is her hazelnut coffee option. One of the first desserts that I came up with when I started at Boca, really classic flavors, just hazelnut, a little bit of coffee and milk. It's a milk ice cream. It's actually a fairly light dessert. Doesn't feel super heavy, but still feels decadent. So it's a nice end. The base is hazelnut coffee caramel, then a hazelnut crumble, a creamy mousseline, plus candied hazelnuts and some thin, crunchy sheets of coffee and milk chocolate. A perfect canal of ice cream, a sprinkle of sea salt, and then at the table, a rich, dark, toasted milk sauce to finish it off. Hard to find a more perfect ending to a night in the town. We welcome people coming in just for dessert. Now, if you did want to stop into Boca for dessert after a movie or a show, you can stop by in the bar up until 11 o'clock on the weekends. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.